Hey everyone, my name is Tim with The Commonplace Music and today we'll be doing a keyboard tutorial of our song Room at the Table. So this song can be played a couple different ways. Um, if you're part of a church band and you're playing keys as accompaniment, um, a lot of times if you have a keyboard that has different sounds, I'll use more of a mellow sound, kind of like a Rhodes or a light keyboard or a Wurlitzer. It sounds like this. It's kind of nice to add a little bit um, more of complementing what's going on in your band. If you're leading from the front, I think it's helpful to use uh, more of that sharp grand piano sound, kind of like this. And so just keep in mind wherever you're at um, with your worship team, if you're leading or if you're accompanying, if you have access to a more high quality keyboard, just being aware of the sounds that you use. But getting into the song, we're gonna be going over it in the key of G. And again, you can do the song in whatever key you're comfortable with. Usually if it's a female lead, we will do it in either the key of D or an E. But for today, we'll be doing the key of G. And I'll be using throughout the tutorial, I'll be using the Nashville number system. So if you're not aware of that, just take a look at it online. It's a great way to learn chords and to be able to switch keys without having to worry and memorize what you have to play. And so we'll get into it. Um, the intro chords are actually the same as the chorus. And so as I go over these, just keep that in mind for when we get to the chorus later. And so it starts off with the four and it goes into the one like this. And then six, five, four. And then two, six, five. And here we go into the verse. It starts with the four. And then four, one, four, one, five. And I'll do that again, four, one. And if you notice, I'm using um, key voicings that are pretty close together. Um, because it's the verse and it's quiet, I don't want it to be too crazy. And so to the chorus, it goes four, one, six, five, four. And then two, six, five, we'll do it again, four, one, six, five, four, two, six, to the five, and at the end of the first chorus, we'll end on the one. And if you hear the song, this is kind of when the electric guitar, guitar comes in with the do 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 and so that'll go on for about a measure, and then we'll get into the second verse. And it'll go again with the four into the one. And something I like to do in the second verse, because the dynamic is getting a little louder, I'll just add a little more voicings and a little extra notes just to kind of add to the character of the song. And so I'll do that again. It goes four. to the chorus, back to the four, six, five, four, and we'll go to the bridge here. Usually we'll do that chorus twice, but I'll jump right into the bridge. And at this point of the song, um, it drops out a little bit. So depending on what your band will like, either it'll be the acoustic playing or it'll be the keys. But just know that this part of the song, um, it'll drop down and the dynamic will be a little bit softer. And so keep that in mind. And so the bridge chords and the instrumental before the bridge, it starts off with a six and it walks down in the six, five, four. And I'll go through that for you. So it goes six, five, four, five. And we'll do it again, six, five, four, five. I'll do it again and notice again how I'm keeping those voicings really close together as it's building. I don't want to um, put too much attention towards the keys because they can sound pretty aggressive. So I'm keeping the keys very close to each other. And then for the last line of the bridge, it goes six. It's a little bit different and then five, and then we go to the two here. Would you come, all you weary, would you come? Five, and this is big to the chorus. Room at the four, one, six, five, four, two, six, five. 
And this is a big part of the chorus. We'll repeat it again, and we'll probably end on um, a slower version of the chorus. And so pretty much that's a run through of our song, Room at the Table. We hope you enjoy. Leave any questions or comments in the section below.